Hi, so I thought I would share uh, the way that I think it is easiest to create a very basic sequence tool. Uh, the, the way I normally see this demonstrated is to take a shape, so something like a square, then you normally put a text box inside. And let's say uh, A1. And then what you normally have to do is take all of the markups and alignment, align center, and then alignment again, align middle. Now you could have used the keyboard shortcuts for this, but I'm um, just demonstrating it this way. And then um, you normally have to group. So that's then your tool made. And if I just drag that from recent tools to a tool chest, and then let's call this tool one and then we have to create the sequence define the sequence star one two three let's prefix it with an a start at one increments of one okay so that's our tool created um but as you can see down here in the markup list we've got groupings of tools uh grouping so it's, it's a few items grouped together. So you've got your text box and your rectangle grouped together. There's no way of getting rid of that grouping. So if I'm making a basic uh, sequence tool like this, then what I prefer to do is just use the uh, create a text box. Let's say uh, B1 in there. I want the box to be a bit larger. So what we can actually do is stretch, stretch that to roughly the same size as the other squares. And then we can change the style, alignment at the center, alignment middle. Now your text boxes have borders. So they're pre the mine's preset to zero. Um, so if I just jump on here and put a, a line width of one, then I've got the border around there and I've got my tool that's created. And what I can actually do is just drag that from there into my tool chest. Uh, sequence again, define. This time we're going to create it with a B. Click OK. And we've got exactly the same thing as uh, before. But when we look down at our I didn't rename it, so let's let's rename that. Let's just rename that tool two, and let's get rid of those and start again. B one, B two. So you can see down here in the uh, markup list, it's just a, a single item. It's not a grouped item. The other thing with this is obviously you can, it's quite easy to edit these. So if I come back to my original setup, what you can do is you can go back to your style. You can say you want the lettering at the top. You can say uh, you want, instead of, you can move it down. So your line space could be, just increase your line space and you can see that moves down. You've also got the option of a few other basic shapes. And um, yeah, you can you can play about with this. You can you can put some fill in there to color it up. But all the time you do this, let's uh, let's move that down. Sequence again, define. Let's have a C on this one. Okay. It's only ever. Um, it's only ever one markup in the in uh, in the uh, markup list, so it's not a grouped item. So I just like using that method for creating some very basic um, sequence tools.